Kark has got himself an action room. Maybe they can make a play under Ace. The Burrow Strike will be available. They're waiting it out to do as much damage as they can. And this will allow Newbie to get the first blood on Ace, who is left all by his little lonesome. No Io nearby to help out. Ace will still get the revenge thanks to Burning Spear, so Kaka falls. Faith actually defend this? Uh, they have to bring somebody else in. You already have the TP of the Urza back, so yeah, they have to bring someone else, and it's KP. The Pit of Malus catching all three. The Shackles are there as well. All they're trying to do is hold Huskard there, but this will now allow Fada to attack and attack hard until Mugi arrives, and you'll really see who attacks harder. Mid one, he wants a target. He cannot see Kaka. Ace is slowly ticking down, trying to armor toggle his way through this. With the Burrow Strike, he's been supported by Yamsaw, but that support is still not enough. Yamsaw into the trees. They they veil him up, but Yapsaw's run north. They don't see him, but he's slowly ticking out to the Poison Sting with a buff up from the Veil. Yapsaw was a guarantee kill, so they started looking... Yapsaw is really being tested in his worst skills this game, though, because he, he let... Oh, Kaka. Oh, quick sandstorm. They don't see him. Forest strike up. Yapsaw actually gets mowed down by Mugi. Ooh. It looked really good to initiate on Kaka. Oh, I love that. So that's that's how many runes he's managed to gather. 14 so far will hide his Kaka. Makes the most out of one of them. Jumps in with Mugi. He's going to end up falling really quickly. Oh no, that one really oh, was no. way too late. Oh, there's two gone. Unless mid one can turn this around. KP looking to come high ground. There's a quick attack. Kaka with the Burrow Strike again. He is so far, so good. The Shackles, I was able to tether with the Shackles holding him there and the Syrian Chains. Plus the epicenter to boot, Puppy's TP will be successful. <laughs> Bottom lane, Kaka. They're wrapping around Team Secret, but the Plague Wards are everywhere. Newbie should know what's coming, but then again, the three of them sit in the Pit of Malice. They instantly kill off Fada, and Ace, they get gunged up. The Nova's on him, the quick in for the duel. At least I'll find one pick off, and it is the Ursa to die. But mid one, having to run away from SCCC, just have a lot of help, thanks to the fact that Faith was shackling up Ace. They burrow strike him down. Ace is a non-factor, and Yapsaur is an afterthought. Team Secret, they lose everybody. Be able to buff up the Huskar as well. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup versus the Veno. I think that was actually the one of the plays that propelled Newbie into such a big lead. Mid one trying to jump away. The pit won't be able to do enough control. Ace as well as Yamsaw relocate in. So Kaka is low, but he'll still get the double burrow strike off. Fada trying to take Ace to the fifth one to the I don't know a different land. Wait, he got him? What was that? Searching for Yapsaw with a Plague Ward on the hill. It's holding its attack, four stuff in, and get the shackles. TPC coming in from Night Stalker. It's going to take a little bit too long, however, and the Searing Chains a lot more than they can handle. A jump in from Ace. He's going to try and fight underneath the Shrine. Mass Open Wards will surround him, and the shackles, a quick dual victory. They'll burn through the Mass Open Wards, SDCC. Gonna come back in once more, keeps the Syrian Chains on him, so the Master Left Ward's physical damage can do its work. Spirit up and down, but press the attack. That regeneration, press the attack, and inner vitality, making Ace almost immortal until Kaka yules him up. There's your Dispel. You bail him up as well. Any kind of buff you can get to bring down that Huskar. It's Tower, so a Blink Bar Strike forward. Again, it's more just chip and control than anything else until the opening is there. And it's Farter. They press the attack him out. Mugi! He's in real deep. Jumping up to mid when he wants to kill the Bashes there. Kaka with basically a rabbit strike from him. Puppy can't survive. Not even with the regeneration of the shrine. Farter's ticking down with SEC doing the work. Yapsaw cannot regenerate through this. They at least find one, but it's only the Aegis, the Immortal on the Ursa. They're buying back. The pit is there from Fada, but SCCC, a triple kill from him. Fada is so worried. He is ulting from his tier four towers back to base. Cancels that, not needed. He'll go on cooldown. Or like looking at that last pick, like, they really just let us have Ursa. Oh, I think it was a trap. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, oh, he got deleted. Up on. Legion Commander any day of the week. And now Kaka's got his own Halbert. He's got Plink Yul's Halbert. <laughs> Para Strike forward, going after the pit lock. They're even jumping. They're looking for Yapsaw in the back lines. They couldn't find him in game one. In game two, they're making it look too easy. Shackles holding Fighter in position. He's not a part of this fight. The Nova is out. And Fighter will fall. The Epicenter as well. GG will play. We're going to a third. Happy. Like, they still seem to be pretty serious about it but that is a lot better.